So a new series dropped in Shonen Jump called Kagura Bachi. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And if you're on anime Twitter like me, you've probably seen a lot of hype for it. I haven't seen this much hype for a first chapter since Gaichi Okuda. I waited until it dropped on Viz to read it and this is my review on it. I may make a series of this on the channel where I read newer series and give my opinion on it, so let me know if you want that. If you're new here, my name is Yuno and now you know. I do reactions and talk about manga. If you like what you see, feel free to hit the like and subscribe. Kagura Bachi is written by Takeru Hakazona. This is the first series I've seen of theirs get serialized from my research, but they have written one shots titled Chain and Roku no Miyako. I haven't found them translated, so I can't give my opinion on them, but from what I can see, the art looks great. This story is about a young boy named Chihiro. He spends most of his days with his father training to be a great swordsmith like him. When tragedy suddenly strikes him and his father's dead, Chihiro takes his blade and heads out for revenge. One of the things I was more impressed with in this manga is the storytelling. Usually with a lot of first chapters in mangas, you get a full base of the world and the characters in it. With this, we're still in the dark with a lot of things, and honestly, I like that. That's what's grabbing me the most. A great first chapter makes you want to read more, and this was a perfect bait setup for me to come back and get more. I'm glad we didn't get the full story on how Chihiro got his scar and how his father died. Whatever is happening in this first arc, I hope we get a great amount of growth and mysteries and lighten. The first antagonist could be the reason whatever happened is happening, and once they're defeated, a new world opens up putting a target on Chihiro's back. Also, the power system is a big mystery in the series as well. How does one add sorcery to the blade? Where does sorcery come from? Was Chihiro always a sorcerer? How are the goldfish included in his moves? Also, is the second sword more powerful? A lot of questions and I am interested to in finding the answers. When it comes to Chihiro, he's unlike any other shonen main character that we've had. He's much darker as a character. I do like that the main character is feeding onto his hatred and I can see that changing throughout the story. Personally, I don't think he has the personality to carry the series. There definitely needs to be someone that helps push forward the stories along with Chihiro. Mr. Shishiba is a great example of that so far. I honestly wish we had a little bit more of his father as well. Maybe we'll see him in the future, or in some flashbacks. A highlight, and maybe the strongest thing in the series so far, is the presentation. The art is fantastic and super clean. The scenery was done absolutely nicely. Paneling was easy to follow. I never felt like there was too much going on the page and the action was very easy to follow. So far, this has my attention. Twitter has most certainly hyped us up to a place they can't reach, but with time, I think it will be a hit. Hopefully it won't get axed. I won't forget what Shonen Jump has done to Red Hood. But anyway, what did you guys think of the debut chapter? Let me know down below. If there's any other new series you would like me to read and talk about, put them in the comment section below. Also like this video if you did and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Until then, you know where to find you now.